yes, you can get the vaccine. We know that this is a challenging decision to make and we encourage that you talk to your healthcare provider so that you can make a shared clinical decision that's best for you and for your baby. Although we had hoped that pregnant and breastfeeding moms would be included in the study uh, for the safety of this vaccine, we do know and we are confident that you and your baby will not get COVID from this vaccine. It is not a live virus that they use to make the vaccine. We feel confident in the science behind the vaccine. In simple terms, when your body encounters a virus or a bacteria, your immune system works very hard to make antibodies that protect you and your baby from illness because of the virus and the bacteria. And it does that so that way if you encounter the same bacteria or virus, you won't be sick and neither will your baby. This is so important. If you've seen, many of you probably have, the COVID virus itself. There's spike proteins that are located around the virus. We use snippets of those, again, non-live virus particles to incorporate into the vaccine. When you get the vaccine, this gives your body the key, the map, whatever you wanna call it, the recipe, it needs to make antibodies against COVID-19 to protect you and your baby from illness if you encounter the COVID-19 virus. We feel very confident in these recommendations, but we know that it's an important decision that you need to make for you and your baby. The risk of getting COVID-19 while you're pregnant far outweigh the risks of this vaccine. The truth is, Pregnancy puts you at a high risk, you and your baby, for getting seriously ill from COVID-19. And we wanna give you the tools you need to protect you and your baby. So we are recommending the COVID-19 vaccine. The CDC and the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology agree that as soon as you are able and willing, you should receive the COVID-19 vaccine. There have been no studies that show the safest time to get the vaccine, but if you are ready and you're able, it's recommended that you get it as soon as possible so you can protect you and your baby. But that's a decision that you need to make with your healthcare provider. And we really take into account the risks and benefits, the risk of exposure, the risk of you getting an illness and how sick you and your baby can become. And that's a decision that we will support you through. This question is particularly of interest to me because I recently de delivered in the middle of COVID as a doctor and now a breastfeeding mother. I felt so empowered when I got the email to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Yes, it is safe in pregnancy. It's safe to breastfeeding mothers and it allows you the ability and the empowerment to go and protect you and your baby. I said yes to the vaccine because I'm breastfeeding, because I know that this is the first opportunity that I've had to protect myself, my family, my baby, and my patients. Yes, that's why we encourage this as soon as possible, because we know that the dosage needs to be taken either three weeks or a month apart, depending on the vaccine. If you do receive the vaccine while you're pregnant, the antibodies that your immune system builds will pass along to your baby and you and your baby will be protected. The same with breastfeeding, which is why we encourage it to both patient populations. The side effects that we've seen with the COVID-19 vaccine are very similar to some of the other vaccines that have been studied for years. Some of the side effects include fatigue, muscle soreness at the site of the injection, redness, overall feeling unwell. Those symptoms usually resolve within 24 to 48 hours, but if you're experiencing any of them and you're concerned, please call your healthcare provider and we can support you through them. As far as some of the mild symptoms, you can take Tylenol or aspirin, especially if your symptom is a fever. But again, we do encourage you to call your healthcare provider. Severe anaphylaxis 
is very, very rare. If you know or you've had anaphylaxis before in prior vaccines, it's very important that you tell your provider. We do not anticipate this happening with this vaccine, but we will watch you and monitor you more closely once you do receive the vaccine. This is such an important question. Again, pregnancy already puts you at risk for severe illness if you become sick from anything. We've seen over the last year that COVID-19 in pregnancy can cause serious illness to you and your baby. It requires longer hospitalizations, the chances of being intubated in the ICU, all the way from mild symptoms which is why it's so important that we want to give you the protection you need for you and your baby. We have been trying to refute some of the media that's out there about this. There are no studies that show this vaccine affects infertility. The biology and the science behind the vaccine do not suggest or support that. Again, this is not a live vaccine. It is not, the actual virus itself is not included in the vaccine. And the mRNA that we use does not get into the body in a way that it would be anywhere close to the ovaries. There have been no studies to link it to infertility and there have been no studies that show that it causes miscarriage. We hope in the future that children under 16 will be eligible. As with many vaccines or any trials, we currently have studies going on right now for that. And we anticipate that children under 16, as early as the next couple of months, will be eligible. Yes. If you get anything from this video, it is that I am recommending it. It's also that regardless of the decision that you make, we want you to feel confident and empowered in protecting yourself and your baby, and we will support any decision that you make. The vaccine already has shown 95% efficacy, meaning protection against COVID-19. And we know that that's the case after the second dose. We also know through our studies that over 15,000 pregnant patients have already safely received the vaccine. And we hope that this number continues to grow. Please, we encourage you, if you are concerned or you have hesitations, speak to your healthcare provider because we want to support you in making the right decision for you and your baby.